Welcome back to my video. And for those of you who are new, welcome to my video. So today, this morning, it's so early this morning, but I'm up and the sun is up. I can't believe it. It's like almost six in the morning and I'm like, <gasps> so this morning we are going to be testing for the final day, the CoverGirl True Blend. My color is D5, which is known as Tawny. That's this guy right here. Okay, if you can't see it because it's so sunny, there you go. So D5 is also known in the True Blend color family as Tawny. And I got the CoverGirl Fix Stick, which is good for those who are colors D5, D6, and D7. Uh, this is the True Blend Fix Stick, okay, for these uh, five, six, and seven. And this color, True Blend Mineral Pressed Powder. This is the, uh, for those who use the foundation D5, six, and seven. This is in translucent sable. Mm. Was, because it's been so freaking hot outside, I decided that I was going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. As you can see, it has gotten a lot of test running. So, I'm going to take my trusty e.l.f. under eye primer. I swear by this stuff. I'm taking the True Blend Fix Stick, and we are going to add it to our fine lines. And we're going to add it to our under eye. You know, the problem that I have with this fix stick, and, and, as you can tell, I have used it, okay? But the problem that I'm having with it, because I have used it, all right? But the problem that I'm having with it is that how many times I use it, I've, I've even broken it off. It's That's why it's cocked to the side. Because I keep digging in, you know? I keep even digging into the lines that I've made in my forehead, and I... You'll see, you'll see at the end of this video what I have to say about this fix stick. I'm going to use the fix stick concealer. Under. I'm going to unlock the top. I'm going to just do a pump. I'm going to work it out. Remember I told you I forewind it? I'm going to forewind it. this. Don't forget to get the neck too. You're going to be screwed. You're going to be two-toned. Or in my case, three-toned. And then I'm going to finish it off with some setting spray. Um, and then I'm going to get out of here. So now I'm going to finish it off with uh, Maybelline's Master Fix. Wish me luck, and I'll do some check-ins with you um, throughout my day. And like I said, when I get back, we are going to talk about it. And I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this fix stick. And, mm, oh, I'll tell you what I think about that fix stick. And I'll tell you what I think about the rest of the True Blend. Was it the temperature? Was it the humidity? Or is it just the products? We're going to discuss that. If I can get a good... A good view. I think maybe my beard is showing through. Um, you know, my five o'clock. You guys. Does it look all right? I'm gonna go back later on when I get home from class and take a look at this footage. 
I couldn't tell if it was greasy just because it was so freaking hot outside or if it was just instantaneously when I put on the foundation. I found that the foundation was very liquidy. Um, even when you shake it up, um, when I applied it on the Beauty Blender, it, st it's, it's st it had a good consistency, but it was almost like it looked like it had a good consistency, but it was almost like a, and I don't want to insult CoverGirl, but the, the best way that I could put this is it was like a liquidy, it was like hand lotion that you would find at the Dollar Tree or a hand lotion that you would find at the dollar store. It was, it felt like knockoff. That's all I could say. It, it didn't feel right. And um, when you put it on, after a good five minutes on your skin, even after the mineral powder, even after the, um, the, the setting spray, after the whole shebang, in my cold apartment or in my cool apartment, in the extreme heat outside, in the extreme cold when I got to, uh, you know, where I was going, it, I was a mess. You could tell that when I went outside and I did my first check-in with you guys, I was greasy in the sun. You could see all of my bumps. They were glistening in the sun. They were more noticeable than ever. And I really didn't appreciate that. For that, if, I, if, if it was going to go like that, I would have just cleaned my skin and gone out of my house without any makeup on. Um, you saw my 5 o'clock shadow, and I had just shaved, not the night before, but that same morning, I had just shaved. And somehow I miraculously had a 5 o'clock shadow. That has never happened to me with any makeup that I have ever worn, cheap or expensive. Um, so it surprised me. So with... The, through the primer, through the, through the liquid foundation, through the fix stick, and through the mineral powder, and through the setting spray, boom, my 5 o'clock shadow and my blackheads were glistening in the sun. And they were front and center. Not only that, it left a ring around my shirt so much that I had to, I had to change twice because my shirt collars and even the front side and somehow the bottom of one of my shirts had makeup on um, the True Blend Fix Stick, you would think that in the heat, the Fix Stick would become pliable or would become a little more creamy. It was like a rock. You could tell where it's bent because I broke it. It is, I don't, it's not, it's not like, I don't know if it's like wax, like they were making a crayon, but it, it's terrible. It, whatever the formula is on this Fix Stick is junk. It's Dollar Tree stuff. It's like, kids makeup they should not this i i think when i bought this it was 7.94 it should be a dollar it's it's garbage the packaging for the um mineral pressed powder no wonder cover girl does not have it on their website they should be ashamed of themselves the um mineral pressed powder has no pigment like they said it does and the packaging itself is all plasticky and to be, you know, to have to walk around with this and keep packing this onto your face on top of that greasy mess that they call the foundation, I wouldn't do it. This is not worth money. It's, it's, it's not worth $7. It's, it's not worth $10. It's definitely not worth $7. It's not even worth $5. Um, it is a definitely, it's definitely a miss from CoverGirl. Um, I will leave the product description that CoverGirl gives on their website down below because I'm not even going to waste your time or mine by reading it. It's just, yeah, I was so saddened by this product. Um, I'm going to hold on to it. And when the weather gets a little cooler, I'm going to maybe, if I think about it, because I'm going to try to put this experience in the recesses of my mind and try to clean my skin, you know, and try to clean out my pores <laughs> for a little while um, while I'm moving on to the next product, which, by the way, is going to be a Krylon product. Um, you're going to want to see this. Um, but anyway, um, I am, uh, before I move on, I'm 
deep cleaning my skin because I'm not even going to, I want to put this experience in the recesses of my mind because CoverGirl is an old company, even though they're a drugstore company and I can't believe, or even though they're available in the drugstore, they are an old company, you know, and these are one of, you know, this company was once a really, really big deal and this is a crappy product that they put out. It's really a crappy product. I really don't have any other, you know, I don't have a PC way of putting it, except that this is really a crappy product. And it's sad that such a big company with such a long history would put out such a shitty product. So <laughs> that's the only way I know how to put it. If I were a girl, I would run away from it. If I were a guy, I would run away from it. If I were an alien, I would run away from it. This is not a good product for a man or a woman. That's all I have to say about it. Um, so if you're a CoverGirl fan, I apologize. This is a crappy product. No wonder when you go on CoverGirl, these have such a shitty review. And no wonder when you go on CoverGirl.com, you can't even find the True Blend Mineral Press Powder on their website because uh, they only promote their loose powder because this is crap. It is crap. That's why they hide it so well on their website. Why you can still find the fix stick and the uh, foundation, maybe they put a little too much money into it. Maybe they have something invested into it and that's why they have to still, you know, keep up their contract with the, the factory or the manufacturer, but the, it's crap. <laughs> and if you have purchased these products and you think that they're, if you think they're otherwise, please leave a comment down below and prove me wrong because my experience with these products are horrendous and uh, I would not recommend this to anyone. So that's it guys. Um, sorry to be so harsh on this product, but that's just the way I feel and I would not lie to anybody. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, leave a comment down below on any videos that you'd like to see or anything that I left out, um, or if you feel another way about this product, share, do share, I would love to hear it. Um, follow me on Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time.